Occupy Buffalo, a few other small occupiers across the country. Um, latest one I did was in the Oklahoma after the tornadoes hit up there, helped out with, with the Occupy Rainbow Anarchist Kitchen for a while, and ended up here after Nash Rainbow Nationals came to Eugene. And I was only going to be here for a few days, and when I came into town, it was the same weekend that they were doing the raids out at the wetlands. And so a couple of my friends who are activists here in Eugene took me out there and I started talking to people and just listening to their stories and met a lot of people that had nowhere else to go. And so eventually I found myself at the camp under Sixth and High. I camped out with them for the last weekend they were there. And then we decided to move to the plaza and that was just going to be for one night turned into what a month now so it's a uh, yeah crazy adventures <laughs> that's really when i started like being active in in community so this was after occupy and uh, i was there when they came and raided our camp in dallas and there were only 17 of us there but so many cops, like 150 cops and SWAT and Homeland Security and just like, it was insane. 17 of us went to jail and it was, I don't know, it just kind of started my whole journey after that. So. Yeah, it definitely switched something for me, switched with all that. I don't think I could go back to just living my life with a blind I don't eye think anymore. So. And, yeah. There's no place for, for you, you to go. go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, but you, you gotta, gotta go. go. <laughs> yeah. It's so easy to lose everything and just, you know, become homeless yourself. And and I don't think people really realize that, you know. You live in a normal life one minute and then the next you're living on the streets or out of your car. And it's, I don't know. I think people need to wake up and realize that. I think the... Like orig originally we were asking for a small piece of land, about an acre and a half or so, where we could have porta potties and dumpster. People just need a safe place to sleep. And I think that being in, in a community, being around each other, it starts to help us all heal. And um, just having that safety is, is a big part of it. So. I would say, I mean, we're, they've been going from place to place, and I think we're, what we're doing is being like, hey guys, what about this piece of land? Hey, what about this piece of land? And hopefully, maybe somebody will get it along the way.